guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be giving you an update of a what's in my bag. I have a brand new bag for a brand new season. Uh, we're kind of going into spring in the UK, although it doesn't really feel like it, so I'm going for something a little bit different. So, my new bag. Oh my god. Uh, this one is by Teddy Blake, and I've got quite a few of their bags now, so this is like number three, I think, to my collection. I just absolutely am obsessed with them. And this one is the Vanessa Palmoletto 12-inch bag and um, it's in dark blue, which I actually think is very different for me because I don't have a dark blue bag. So that's why I thought I'd go for this one. I want to show you the bag itself before I go into what's in my bag, because I have some random stuff, but also just so you guys can get a bit of a feel of it. So what I love about Teddy Blake, you may not have heard of them. They are an American company, but they do do international shipping, which is great. What I love is just how amazing the quality is. So they are all made in Italy. What I like to do is like shove a lot of stuff in my bag and kind of like put it through its paces and know that it's gonna be able to keep up with me. So with this one, honestly, it's super sturdy and if like the bottom of a bag, I like a good sturdy bum. That's what I like to, for a bag. When I'm choosing a handbag, I try and find stuff that sort of really suits me as a person um, and I try and go for like different colours because I always tend to, used to tend to stick to the same colours like tan or black or whatever. Now I'm trying to branch out a little bit, especially in the spring. I, I know it sounds really silly, but spring, summertime, I kind of wear more like lighter colours and things like that. So I tend to go away from like the darker sort of colours. So I just thought blue would really sit nicely with that, you know, like a nice pair of white jeans in the summer and stuff like that. It's kind of got this little clip, which I would actually prefer if they'd done like a popper kind of version because I don't really like to have my handbag open. So I see what they've kind of done there by trying to kind of, you know, link it all together, but you'd still then got this bit the other side so I would have preferred a popper but hey we can't be that fussy and then inside I want to show you it empty before I go into what's actually in my bag we've got two massive kind of spaces here either side and then right down the middle I've got a really cool kind of pocket where I can keep all of my super um, important stuff like my wallet and my keys and stuff that I don't want really to get lost and then you can unpop the sides as well to make it even bigger if you've got a shed load of stuff like I have let me know in the comments below do you think this is going to suit me do you want to see some Instagram pics with it, you know? And I'm going to start talking about it now. I'm going to actually get into what is inside the bag. So it's kind of heavy, but I wanted to show you guys, this is basically what my bag looks like normally. Can you even see that? It's so dark in the... Uh... But basically, I'll, I'll go through the different compartments. So this is the smaller one, it, the one that runs down through the middle. First of all, I have my phone, most important thing to me. I'm not going to show you the other side of it because... Um, oh, actually, I can't... No, I can't. It keeps doing that annoying thing that iPhones do. Okay. <sighs> got a bit dusty. Basically I have a picture on here of me and a new man. So I don't want to just show you guys just yet. Oh she's so sneaky. Anyway I'm going to show you the back of it. So this is an iPhone 7 Plus. It is freaking amazing for the camera and the screen size. I absolutely love it. If any of you guys take those Instagram stories or just even in general Instagram stories, Instagram photos or you know do a lot of like blogging yourselves or just like to watch YouTube obviously the massive screen really does help and the camera is insane and then I've got this really cool phone cover this one is actually from Case Defy which is a company online and it has killing it on the back and then it's also got this glitter kind of confetti stuff inside. So that keeps me amused for hours. So that's my phone anyway. Then I have my Mulberry purse that my sister got me. Um, this one is in like a tan kind of color. I've had this for a few years now. She's amazing, like literally I'm just obsessed with this. But obviously I won't bore you with the details. Probably doesn't have that much cash in because you know, we all be broke at the moment, aren't we? I always have a photo of my sister. This is a little Polaroid photo of me and my sister in America and it just brings a lot of happy memories. So I always keep that in my wallet. That's really important to me. Does any anyone else do this right do you have the most insane amount of keys I mean why why do I have two lots it's like this lot is my mum's and my sister's and my friends my friend gave me her bent key to just to in case I ever needed to get in that's one lot and then second lot is for my flat I mean who does that and I've got two massive flappy things one from the white company, one, I don't know where you're from, from June, both from my mum, I think to help me find said keys, which are freaking amazing, don't get me wrong. 
But I mean seriously, on this one, I have a little part of a heart jigsaw piece that says the Sheeran family and it's got my name on it. And then also, I've got another lot of keys. These are my car keys with my little Mulberry key ring from my sister. But then also, I've got a little jigsaw piece on my key ring here. And this one says BS, you complete me. And that's my sister's initials. Also my dad's initials as well, so kind of both. Makes into a little jigsaw piece and my sister's got the other one with my initials on it. So how cute. And they are both from Prezi Box. But all in all, how ridiculous. Why do I have this many keys? This is so unnecessary, Ollie. Then I'm gonna go to one side. Um, everyone who's a dog owner, you all understand this. And this is hilarious because, well, everyone just has it. Poo bags, basically. Poo bags. Sorry, someone just walked past my window and I was like, oh. These ones are little heart ones and they're big. I mean, it's ridiculous, don't get me wrong. But especially the new man in my life hates them because these are the only ones that I literally have. So whenever I send him out to walk Nelly, bless him, he has to take these along with him. So sorry about that. I literally have no idea what I've got in here, by the way, guys, so I'm just kind of going for it. So I have my amazing JVC Sport headphones. They're wireless headphones, so they've got like these little grips that go into your ear so when you're running they stay in because I used to run all the time and they used to always fall out so I used to get really annoyed and these are wireless as well with the new iPhones so annoying but you have to have this little like adapter thing to be able to get your earphones in so it's just so much better to have these again sticking with the very technical front <laughs> this is outrageous but I love it the most sparkliest power bank for my phone ever it was from Ciarte so I think I got it as like a press send out but it's super super handy and then I've obviously got my little iPhone cable that just keeps me charged up and on the go all the time because I don't know about you guys but I'm just forever running out of I was gonna say juice but you know what I mean like um iPhone power battery Oh God, what a day. Brain engage. This is hilarious. So I always have this on me. This is my hard drive. And I remember this is a terabyte because I remember it sounded like a dinosaur. So that's by Toshiba. And this is super handy. I just keep all of my videos on from pretty much when I started YouTube. So that's a massive hard drive there and any kind of important stuff and photos. If you guys want to keep anything, especially massive files, that is a really good one. I try not to carry it around too much though because obviously it can damage it, but it's just on days that I'm editing. I also then keep this which I got from Paper Chase and this just keeps all of my memory cards in so basically my SD cards for this camera so if I'm editing again on the go I will never put my laptop in my bag because that's too heavy I'll always carry that separately but I do carry all the little bits in there so it keeps them safe then I have random comb because you know like today especially god I need this comb today this is not working out for me. Anyway, that's like a Denman kind of backcombing comb. This is so random, but I can't sleep without earplugs. So obviously, I have earplugs in my bag <laughs> because you never know when you're going to need them, do you? On the train, when you're traveling, I've just come back from Prague. So, you know, it's really important to make sure you can sleep on a plane. And also just in general, if I ever stay over at friends' houses or whatever, I cannot sleep without these. So these are like some foam. I think they're called um, by a company called Quiz, something like that. I used to get them in France, but actually you can get them on Amazon. So these are amazing. Just make sure you change them very regularly because obviously you can get infections and stuff But they really do help if you're a light sleeper. Then what else do I have? A, uh, a miscellaneous tampon, of course. I think that is, I don't know who that's by. It's by like, I think it's time of the month. I looked like I was going to eat it then, didn't I? I was like... No, it's by time of the month, so they're really like super organic and they're just beautiful, they're really nice, <laughs> beautiful, they're really nice tampons. These are really like for very sensitive kind of skin, so that's great. On the off chance that it's going to be sunny, which is never at the moment, I have my Coconut Name sunglasses. You're going to get a massive reflection, so I'm going to try and like get this away. These are like mirrored, you can see my whole setup going on here, but I mean how cool are they? Yeah? Loving those. So I love Coconut Lane and they're just super cute for the summer but I'm kind of carrying on the mommy in like a, as a good omen. As, is that right? Basically, I'm really freaking hopeful that it's gonna be sunny by having these on me. Then, the other side, I have my makeup bag, which is, again, by Mulberry. I've had this for years and years and years, but it just has all of my essentials in. I won't bore you guys with it. It's also got like my, my pill and paracetamol tablets. Everything goes in here. A hair bubble, eyelash glue, and just my essential kind of like lipsticks and stuff. Oh, hilarious. Also, some Caniston Thrush Cream. Lovely. We'll just move on from that one. I feel like we should just move on because, yeah, we've, we've gone too far. Then, this is complete, 
complete opposite worlds. So the first one is, is super healthy. This is like a random tea bag. Normally I do kind of put them in a bit of a protective container, but I don't know where that's gone. So I basically have a random tea bag. This is actually from a company called, I think they're called um, a vibe of a, a VO. OVO. I'm going to show you the box because these are freaking amazing. They're from Australia. My friend actually sent them over to me that lives in Australia. But these ones are like silk tea bags with like loose leaf tea in. And this one is a vanilla mint sky organic tea. So it's like peppermint tea almost. But it's just so much better than that. The blend in it is absolutely ridiculous. And oh my god, it's just amazing. So I always carry tea bags with me just in case I need them on the go or whatever. And then you kind of see like the different worlds. So because it's kind of like this when I'm filming this is coming up to the weekend. Uh, yeah, you never know when you're gonna need this. So I do tend to have things like this on me, uh, which is probably not a good thing. Don't worry, this is for like the train. So I'm not gonna be driving or anything like that. Yeah, there's no other way to explain this other than just it's a gin and tonic in a can. Mind blown. Right, my mum got me into these. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so bad, but basically, uh, yeah, they're just like gin and tonic in a can. I think this one's uh, by Greenalls, and it's a gin and pink grapefruit one. So it's something a little bit fruity and refreshing. My friend actually got me quite a few for my birthday, so I'm putting them to good use. I mean, I'm just being a good friend by just trying out what she bought me. But seriously, you guys, don't judge. I mean, try these and you'll understand. You'll be keeping these in your bag, no problem. And that's it. That's one empty bag. Oh, just thought I broke it then, but I didn't. No, um, that's one empty bag. Yay! You can fit so much stuff in this, honestly. I freaking love this bag. Comes in loads of different colours and I'm just obsessed with it. So yeah, keep an eye out on my social media for um, updates on this bad boy. There'll be a few photos I'm sure lurking around. And also, if you guys want to have a little check out of Teddy Blake, I will link obviously everything below um, and you also get like a nice discount code as well for like $20 off. So um, go and check that out below and I'll pop the link. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and my crazy stuff. I'm just gonna go and enjoy my gin now uh, not right now but yeah maybe later <laughs> anyway you guys i will see you in a few days time in my next video bye